Happy Monday of a short week, just a little bit till you get to Thanksgiving. It certainly is, <laughs> although I'm working Thanksgiving. Yes. And if you are interested in running in the Malibu uh, Fitness 5K road race, there is still time to register. Go to malibufitness.us and you can register and come on out and have some fun on Thursday morning. How early? Uh, I think the race starts around 6.45. Oh, okay. Yeah, but well, I get there at... You know, you can come out as early as you want. You can come out early with me, like at 4 a.m. Uh huh. Yeah, I'll be so you there. Get your, but the good thing is, you get your run in, and then you can go eat whatever you want. Exactly. And not feel guilty. I call it the race before the race because then people they run this as a warm up, and then they go do the Manchester Road Race. Oh, they do both. Oh, but some people are nuts. God bless them. I love them all. I mean, but I'm like, I can't, I, I want, I can't even think about running for an election, no less running in a race. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So. Anyway. One place you will not go on Thanksgiving is Target. They're going to keep their stores closed on Thanksgiving for good. I think this is excellent. I do, too. I, I think everything should just close. But Target will no longer open its Thanksgiving Day. Um, it's making the permanent shift because they just uh, they did that during the holiday, yeah. during the pandemic, rather. Yep. But they just want their employees to have it off. And you know what? We're all looking online anyway. It's like Black Friday already started. It's oh, a, it started like in June. Well, I mean, now literally they're like Black Friday starts Monday, November 22nd. It's not even Cyber Monday, though, no. which is next week. Exactly. And it says the new standard at Target on top of very healthy sales last year could push other retailers to follow in its path. Wouldn't that be nice? Everybody closed again for Thanksgiving, get to spend it with your family, get a little downtime, and then everything gears up for the holidays. Yeah. I think it's great. All I right. think it's excellent. So, um... Americans and their phones. I just Apparently, no place is sacred because they say Americans are very addicted to our phones. They're using them at weddings, funerals, and even on the toilet. Even on the toilet. And people are, my doctor said, a lot of people are starting to get hemorrhoids. I, I, this is a real conversation I have with my doctor because they're sitting on the toilet bowl so long that they're on their phones. That, and they're pushing and they shouldn't be pushing. It's ridiculous. Okay. There you go. So he said hemorrhoids are on the rise because of... Well, Phone this, use this article bowl. actually did say that people are confessing that they actually have pain in their tuchuses from sitting and scrolling too long. See that? I love it. So, and they said people just love their phones. Now, 99% uh, said that they use their cell phone while watching television. I, I do that. I, I, you know, it depends on if I'm really watching a movie I want to focus, then no. But if I'm like, okay, I'm just watching a little TV, but I need to get some work done, then I do. Even when Americans know they're going to an event where they'll be face to face with others, 91% say their conversations bore them. <laughs> that is fantastic. We just had the story on what it is. It's flubbing. That if you yeah, if, and they go on to they go on to talk about flub. They look at their phone that they've flubbed you because they just got bored. But are they bored, or they just literally are like so pulled into this? Oh, well, I got to check this myself. I guess. I mean, it exactly. Have I was I I was was at a wedding a couple of weeks ago. I did not look at my phone during the ceremony. I put Good. It down. The ceremony was only 15 minutes, so I figured I could do it. As soon as the ceremony was over, I was like, "Who called? Who texted?" Blah 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 blah. Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty, it's pretty addicting. I got to be honest with you. Yeah, and you don't even do social media. So exactly. Could you imagine? Doing that. Ugh. All right, Joe Exotic is being transferred out of. Uh, well, actually, let's get to holiday or travel first. I think I skipped one, but um, lots of people are going to be flying. Two million people pass through airport security checkpoints nationwide on Friday, the first day of Thanksgiving air travel. And uh, they're saying that the parking is out of control. The people are it's like pre-pandemic pre levels. Pre-pandemic so levels. So just be prepared if you are flying and you're not used to it because you haven't done it for a while. Look at these Get lines. there early because oh, yeah. the whole is... thing just stresses me out. Do we have anything on stress relief in today's show? We do. We oh, have uh, had a de-stress for the holidays from activities to foods to oh, ways to keep your kids calm. So that's coming up. It is. Uh, it, it is quite. Quite incredible the amount of lines. You know, at Bradley, even at six o'clock in the morning, you see all these lines get all the people get on the planes well, and stuff. Yeah, and I wonder, you know, the, a lot when of the airlines. You, oh, you were you've been on a plane, right? Yeah, I was. Last time I was on a plane was um, in April. We did go to Florida when they opened things up a okay. bit. Okay. Yeah. I haven't been on a plane since February of 2020. That's a long time ago. Yeah, and even when I went, I mean, the flights were full again. Yeah, exactly. So. so. Trouble is brewing for coffee lovers oh, because the it. next cup of Java is going to cost you a little more. Why? Because everything is costing more. It's inflation and extreme weather. You said trouble is brewing. That's very yeah. good. I like, I, I like that. And there was a frost in Brazil, so that's not helping things. Yeah, frost. And what else is there? Something inflation. else. Is going, inflation. And a drought. Severe drought and frost conditions in Brazil, which is the world's largest coffee supplier. They're saying that they're going to have to raise prices. But Starbucks and other companies buy far in advance, which allows them to keep their prices in check 
So maybe we won't have to worry about yeah. that so much. But Disney, other... um, it's dropping its COVID vaccine requirement for employees at Walt Disney World in Florida, and that is because there's now a change in state law. So... Right. The state law says that employees are not allowed to mandate that they have uh, vaccines, right, in order to come to work. Yep. So, so... Disney's following suit, and say, they say 90% of their employees are already vaccinated anyway. But, yeah, they can't have a, something They can't that's have a them. mandate that says you have to be... If you get vaccinated or you, you'll lose your job. Yeah. That, that's no longer in Florida. Different, so, different, different states have different rules. Different states rules. have different rules. Uh, All right, now to Joe Exotic. Okay, so he's been transferred to a medical facility. He was in prison, of course. This is after an aggressive cancer diagnosis. Uh, some are saying it does not look good for the former Netflix star. And he, you know, he has he has prostate cancer. He was yeah. diagnosed with prostate cancer. He's only 58 years old, and I guess that's he's tough. not doing well. No, that's tough. Well, uh, I don't really know too much about Joe Exotic. I didn't watch the series, so I can't really say too much. Oh, it's on now. Season two, you can binge everything. I heard the reviews aren't very good. I haven't seen season two. Yeah, I haven't seen seasons one. But I feel like you would, because of all your animal love. I see. That's the thing. I can't watch. Uh, yeah, I, there I, are some tough things to watch. I can't watch it. I just can't do it. All right, Adele burst into tears on stage during a reunion with her former teacher. This is so awesome. She, they asked Adele if talk about, you know, s some of the teachers in her life, and she mentioned this woman, and they had her planted in the audience. And I guess they knew Adele was going to bring this woman up, and they planted her in the audience, and then Adele brought her on stage and started crying. Yeah, she said she was so bloody cool and engaging, and she really showed us that she cared about us. Aww. Isn't that awesome? She burst into tears, and... Uh, she said, I'm so proud of you, the teacher said. Well, I, I love <laughs> She's that. She's still so proud of her. I love that. Uh, That's really awesome. So good for Adele. That's awesome. And I love that, you know, teachers do. We, uh, Mrs. Peretz. You, I mean, Mrs. Ricky. You never Ricky, know when you're Mrs. influencing Lanuti. someone so much by just doing what you just do. Exactly. 